Okay, I decided to take another look at the um, Pelte or Peltier uh, module, and this is somebody asked me what it was. It's a 500 watt thermoelectric uh, cooler module that they sell online, and this one cost um, about 15 bucks, but it was 400 watts, and this is what I'm using. You see the size of it based on my hand. But I wanted to take another look at this and, and see. Uh, what was going on without using hot and cold see if the inductor part of it actually did work and so I ran an experiment today with a little capacitor to see if it would uh, do what I wanted it to do now I'm using a little tiny capacitor uh, to simulate what would happen if I loaded up the big capacitor which runs the jewel thief and uh, this um, uh, super capacitor jewel thief is what I'm now working with so that uh, I don't have to use a battery or anything it just runs on a capacitor and the idea was take the energy um, that's in the house, basically off a lamp or whatever's got a, an induction going on, and load up a capacitor during the day to run the jewel thief at night. So that was just my thinking on this thing. But uh, anyway, I've got an experiment set up here. I've got a little uh, zener diode to energize the cap with so it doesn't leak back down. I'm using a bridge rectifier to capture the energy that's coming out of that because I believe it's AC. I've also got a one in 4007 diode right there to help things out too and I do have this earth ground which somebody said that's just connected to the phone line or something it's not it just goes outside into the ground out there and there's no lines out there at all um, but uh, yeah that's just a grounding wire that helps the circuit out but let me connect this up and you can see uh, on the meter here what's happening Okay, there's uh, the um, capacitor is not connected right now, and it is grounded out, so there's nothing in the cap. But there's energy uh, coming in off of the module right now with nothing on it. And then I'll turn this uh, light off, and I'll set that on, on there, and you can see the energy starts to bounce up. Now what's in there is a transformer that's hot, and then I'm going to turn the light back on and uh, watch when I turn the light on there goes the energy more so this is an induction thing going on here and it's plain and simple this is induction it's not my meter it's not the earth ground the earth ground is not even hooked up right now so that's not it either but watch if I do hook this earth ground up I am going to get a bump and there's the bump and that's with the earth ground connected now at this point um, I'm going to start charging the capacitor here. I'm going to unground it and start charging it up. And that's, that's started starting to charge now. I'm going to put this on a higher scale. And there goes the energy into the capacitor. And this is simulating what would happen over a course of many hours in that capacitor, which runs the jewel fee. And uh, this would take many hours to fill that up, but during the day you wouldn't have to light on anyway. So my thinking is, why not use uh, some of the energy that's laying around here? And like I say, even with this light off, this will charge up. And that's charging up through the induction that's going on in that. Now, there's a commercial that shows a girl with a cell phone charger plugged in, and people are making fun of her because it's using energy. Well, the commercial's right, they do. If you have a transformer plugged into an outlet, it's consuming energy, and that's what's coming out of there into my capacitor. And here's another thing. I showed, uh, excuse me, I showed the um, CFL doing this too, and this CFL really makes things bounce. When I put that on there, this thing goes off scale. Let me put that up there. Now it's really charging up, and that's with this uh, fluorescent... Uh, circuit pumping energy out of that into there and this is a much much more accelerated than just with the uh, transformer and that light so anyway I just wanted to share this with people and this is real this is not something that's phony this is actually energy that's going into that capacitor it's not a phony meter reading or anything else and uh, it does work we just uh, have to figure out why. I don't know if it's this module, this particular module that's doing it. I think a lot of it has to do with the bridge rectifier and this grounding and these diodes. But anyway, if anyone has comments, feel free to make a comment or advise.